So moving on from this, I began to look into different ways of how I can apply the textures I've looked at in different in-store or even window displays through quick sketches. Here you can see I've used like a shelving type formation as well as more of like this drapedness over the product itself. Here's some more product development ideas looking at going back to the artist previously, how we can inform these soft shapes throughout. And again, this is like more on a bigger scale, looking at a possible window display and how this huge texture could be portrayed throughout. And this possibly could be a organic piece of wood found on one of my walks, but it would have to be quite large. So I'm not sure how easy that would be for transportation. And this is a pleating idea that I've um, discovered through the artist Claire Trusclair, which she has this amazing textured pieces throughout her work and could be really nice as a possible backdrop or even just one piece hanging when you enter the door of the shop to promote the range rather than having the actual homeware physically with the range because it would portray the range as a whole. And here this concept, although it might not carry across as well within the actual piece itself, the concept behind it was really meaningful with the idea of getting back to normal, preparing ourselves and fixing what possibly COVID could have done to people. So we've looked at the idea of nails and the hard, like the hardness of the nails with that holding each other together. Um, the yarn was supposed to mimic the calmness and the softness of what we're hoping to regain as lockdown comes to an end but perhaps this doesn't portray as well as I had hoped as the lines are quite linear and harsh. However with a more softer appearance I did also use this technique with the knit sample that I've previously shown. Then moving on from this I started to look into different colour palettes inspired by this on a more muted level but perhaps these darker tones, just slightly, could perhaps enhance this further throughout the range. And here looking at another artist called Jacqueline Sardell, um, she creates these very textured pieces using really neutral colours. And I thought to develop her technique in a different way by looking at loop knitting, giving these really unruly like textures and really natural quality. And here you can see every experimented with thicker and thinner yarns and how possibly my range could maybe be um, presented outdoors for photo shoots of how or how this range could be promoted and here again looking at the idea of type within magazine which could be best to suit my range um, looking at this more um, this softer quality um, created throughout here I'm bringing in the blues that I've previously looked at with the elements of the more neutral colours that I've progressed throughout my sketchbook so far. However, I'm starting to look into different colour schemes to really solidify the overall aspect. Then this magazine is really inspirational for how I might plan and set out some of my pages for my magazine as I hope to create a couple, one or two pages to see how my homework could photograph and be advertised. Begin exploring the ideas of weaving by developing the ideas from Jacqueline Sardell again, looking at the more green colours brought throughout. However, the yellow possibly wouldn't be as suitable, although it does spread positivity through research, but this was then used to develop this piece where it was inspired by the nailed pieces seen before but has that more organic feel through the loop knit rather than the structured very harsh lines and then looking at different ways that i could possibly display my homeware range through the vm magazine and seeing how these drapes could really bring that lovely quality and the pampas grass to my homeware range It was really important to see that my 
ideas were heading in the right direction. So I thought it was important to get conduct a little research through blindfolding my peers and letting them feel the texture qualities that I'd created. And one of my peers actually suggested that they try to guess what colour they are through the textures. And they were surprised to see that they're all the same colour. So, for example, they stated whether it was lighter or darker, they thought, and what they would associate it with. And a lot of it was to do with grass, nature, and quite soothing, which shows and presents how my ideas are heading in the right direction. This is looking at anthropology and how they've been beginning to uh, steer away from conventional visual merchandising and looking at different aromas and scents and how they can bring a different quality to their store. So here again, looking at just a simple sculpture to possibly promote the campaign or concept they're heading towards instead of actually promoting the merchandise directly next to it other than these pieces. Then lastly as well, looking at the different textures which could work together and moving on to different sample boards of how this could actually pre be presented within a bit of a, the POS to see the textures that they could perhaps utilise within the homeware range they buy, giving more of the customer a choice and sort of that almost bespoke feel. And here again, looking at the idea of projection, how the projection would work on textures. However, this may not possibly work for the um, live installation, but it may appear have a nicer quality at the background rather than on the textures. This is looking into ideas of how I can develop my visual merchandising skills further and how I can push the concept further. And then looking at the idea of the upcycling of the wine bottles, but how I couldn't apply a different paint texture where I've added baking soda to create that more shabby chic, nice textured feeling, as well as developing different ideas for pattern experiments with the softness of the irregular circle shapes and rectangular shapes. However, black would be the wrong choice, but this was for purposes of creating a screen for a screen print. Again, this lovely texture would be perhaps important to experiment with further by changing and adapting the colours as it gives a really nice quality. However, the black colour choice perhaps take away that calming feel and the sense that I had hoped. However, you can see the bark-like elements seen throughout my work are starting to appear within the in the piece. Then also looking at artist Matt Collishaw, I started to create reflections looking at my puff binder and water by creating these really abstract fluid fill, which again could be presented behind the homeware pieces. I've also begun to look into how I could display a home-like structure to represent what we've been through for lockdown and the idea of revamping their homes in a more comfortable way, in a place that may have become quite negative and how we can bring that soothing, sort of mindful, just self-care aspect back with the idea of the textured baskets that would perhaps present pillows and the textured that you've seen throughout experimentation work, how it would be applied throughout the scheme as well as the Homer range. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed looking through my sketchbook with me.